Hi, I'm John Dobis here with Tim Plain. Tim's the editor of the Dividend Hunter newsletter. And you just started a newsletter, a new one, yes. focused on MLPs. Talk okay. about that. Yeah, we call it the Tax Smart Income Hunter because MLPs throw off, to a certain extent, tax-free income. Right. And uh, what I found with my main newsletter is my main newsletter appeals to a wide range of investors. Right. And I was trying to include some MLPs in there, but MLPs are so different, so many different aspects of the MLP business to understand. I wanted to stop trying to throw them at my broad-based subscribers and really focus down to a newsletter that will be of, tr of use to those certain investors, high tax bracket investors, where the MLPs make a lot of sense. You see a trend now where MLPs are being bought in by their parents or their general partners. Yes. What is driving that and, and do you expect I, it to continue? Um, the, the driving the factor between Kinder Morgan and Williams was, um, again, the complications of MLPs. An MLP pays incentive distribution rights to its general partner. And it's based on the growth of the distribution rate and the growth of units outstanding. And for Kinder Morgan specifically, the Kinder Morgan Energy Partners, Kinder Energy Partners, their cost of equity capital had become so high due to the incentive distribution rights they had to pay, they couldn't grow the business the way they wanted it to, so they rolled the MLP into okay. the corporation. It reset their tax depreciation on billions of dollars of assets. It was a good deal. It, uh, Williams is trying to do the same thing. Williams and Kinder are companies that look a lot alike. Right. But I really think that's kind of the limit of it. Um, what I'm kind of, you know, in most cases that general partner limit, uh, MLP relationship is beneficial for both sides and investors can kind of pick where they want to go with it. They can kind of piggyback on the parents' credit rating or whatever, and right? Their Lower parents' cost credit rating, capital, the benefits, of... you know, you look at the uh, the recent spinoffs like Phillips 66 Partners and yeah. Valero Energy Partners, the parents, Phillips 66 and Valero, they're highly, highly motivated to have those companies grow in a, in a financial way. Okay. So if you buy into the MLP, you just get to go along for the ride. 25% of your growth, almost locked in. Give me a couple MLPs uh, real quick here that you think are attractive at current prices. Um, it, it's an interesting world out there now because the first thing, I think MLPs are in somewhat of a danger um, because of the falling energy prices and the... Uh, um, well, you've seen a lot of them down 20% or yeah, so in the past Yeah, and I, th I, I think part of it is a lot of the MLPs were so attractive that a lot of funds, MLP-focused funds came out over the last few years. Money is running out of that, so those funds are being forced to sell. So I'm really looking at the most stable of the MLPs uh, or the very ones that have a lot of growth. Back to Phillips 66 Partners. Uh, another name that I think will surprise people might be One Oak Partners. Okay, yes? Yes. Okay. Out of Oklahoma, natural gas, liquids, right? And stuff like that? Yes. Gotcha. OKS is a nice company. I don't know why they're down 30% in the last year. Yes.